Today's episode is brought to you by me, myself, and I. Enjoy! You're listening to the English Made Simple Show. This is episode number 169, number 169, numero 169. Welcome, amigos y amigas. Welcome to the EMS show. My name is Milena from EnglishMadeSimple.net, EnglishMadeSimple.net. Greetings to you all. Hello, everybody. I trust you've had an amazing weekend. I hope you, you were good on the weekend. Hope you were keeping out of mischief. I assume that the majority of you will be listening in real time meaning you're listening to this show in um, February of 2018. So I am assuming we all had a great weekend, <laughs> okay? What did I do on the weekend? I've been binge-watching Netflix on Sunday as it was so hot. It was too hot to go anywhere. Um, it's just very hot in Adelaide, this summer in Adelaide. Uh, to binge-watch means to watch... Um, something uh, to watch a multiple episodes, to watch a number of episodes of a television program in a short period of time. Like, for example, if you like to watch Game of Thrones, you might go through, you know, the whole season in one day. So if you watch the whole season, one season of Game of Thrones in one day, well, that's what binge watching means. You're consuming a lot in one day, right? Anyway, it is my first summer here in Adelaide. Adelaide. <laughs> here in Australia. I gotta say it's really hot. Like I said before, I like to repeat myself. I prefer cooler weather, to tell you the truth. But that's, you know, that's just me. I'm not going to complain about the weather. There is really no point uh, to complain because I cannot control the weather, unfortunately. But anyway, right. Uh, well, I hope last week's episode, episode number 168, was useful to you. I wanted to tell you about conversation fillers um, so that you can start practicing those. Use those conversation fillers that you learned in the last episode when you're speaking in English. Uh, use them with anybody you meet, maybe a native speaker or non-native speaker, anytime you speak in English. Uh, these conversation fillers will help you um, um, just like what I'm doing now <laughs> will help you um, have more time to think of your next point okay it really helps um, so that was episode 168 so if you're new to the show welcome by the way uh, just go back to the last episode and you will learn about conversation fillers before we begin let me ask you this question how many of you watch TED Talks YouTube or Netflix how many of you watch TED Talks, YouTube or Netflix? Well, chances are that the majority of us do, okay? Most of us would be watching YouTube or Netflix um, or even TED Talks. Like I said in my last episode, I rarely watch TV. Rarely. This means I don't watch it that often. I don't watch TV that often. It's very rare that I turn the TV on. And wait to see what's on TV to watch. Oh, that's really... I, I cannot do this anymore. <laughs> I cannot do this. I used to do it before, you know, before the internet age. You know, the stone age. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I can't do it anymore. I prefer to watch what I want to watch. I prefer to watch what I want to watch, okay? I think we live in a great time uh, where we can choose to watch what we want to watch. Okay, that sounds like a good uh, good tongue twister, okay? You should watch what you want to watch, okay? I, I dare you to say that to yourselves, okay? <laughs> we can choose what we want to listen as well, not just watch. Like this podcast, for example. No one is forcing you to listen to it, okay? No one is forcing you to listen to this podcast. But you made that choice. You made the choice to listen to the English Made Simple show and... I have to say, it is a very smart choice that you made. <laughs> it's a smart choice, intelligent one, okay? So, well done to you, radio. So, just wanted to add that nowadays, 
thanks to the ever-changing technology, we have so many options available. We are lucky to be able to consume the content that we can, um, that we want to consume. So enough, uh, enough rambling, Milena. Enough gibberish. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna get off my high horse. Enough rambling, guys. When it comes to learning English, the more resources we have at our disposal, the better. Wouldn't you agree? I think so. I hope you agree with me. Right today, I want to tell you about other ways to learn English. Maybe some of you are already doing it. Uh, maybe some of you need to be reminded that you can learn English this way. I'm going to tell you soon what I'm what I'm talking about. I know that I am the type of person that needs to be reminded and pushed to do something. Or what I like to do is I wait till the last minute to do something because I like to live on the edge. <laughs> That's my adrenaline rush, you know. I wait till the last day to pay uh, to pay my bills, to pay my power bill. You know, I wait on the the last day to pay it. I think it's really exciting. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Let's carry on with the show. Here are my reasons why you should consider websites like uh, TED Talks or Netflix when you are learning English. That's the whole point of today's show. Okay, so first things first, TED Talks. Who here hasn't heard of TED Talks? Who has never heard of TED Talks? All right, let me bring uh, Weon Inteligente to help us out here. Where is Weon? <laughs> According to Weon Inteligente or the online dictionary, TED, TED is a non-profit devoted to spreading ideas, usually in the form of a short uh, of short powerful talks. Talks are usually 18 minutes or less. Talks, okay? This is a noun, talk. We use talk as a noun by the way. To give talks is like to give presentations to give a speech, uh, to give a speech, to do public speaking, to speak in front of an audience, in front of a live audience. Okay, just to remind you guys, there is a silent L in this word, talk, T-A-L-K. So we spell it with an L, but we don't pronounce the L. So we say talk, like a long O, <laughs> talk. And we don't pronounce L, okay? Remember that. Talk and walk as well. I don't want to hear L. Talk. So, the TED Talks. The TED Talks website is simply uh, TED.com. TED.com. And TED is an acronym, stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design. There are over 2,000 talks available for online viewers. You can watch it on the TED website directly or on YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube too. There are a variety of speakers and a variety of topics in these talks. Uh, speakers and experts from around the world present on stage um, on specific subjects, something that they specialize in. And these topics uh, range from life experiences, science, different areas of research, um, psychology even, business and more. There are more topics. Sometimes you get big names presenting like Bono from U2, if you like U2, uh, Bill Gates, uh, Wikipedia founder, uh, Google founder and many others, many big names. And how much does it cost? It doesn't cost anything. The, the cost is zero to you. It is free to listen to all these great speakers who come on stage and share their insights and their knowledge. Isn't that amazing, guys? That's wow. Imagine that. You, can, you have access to all these experts. Okay, so how is this useful to you as an English learner? Why should you, as an English learner, care about TED Talks? That is a great question, a great question. What you should know is that TED Talks have an educational focus. Their slogan is ideas worth spreading. Ideas worth spreading. The aim of TED Talks, the goal is to open your mind to new ideas, to inspire you. 
and to educate you. There is its primary focus. As you can see now, these talks can help you in many different ways. And now I would like to share four different reasons why you, as an English learner, should listen to TED Talks. Reason number one, inspiration. You may be an English learner, but it doesn't mean that you're only interested in English. You, you have other topics you are interested in. Uh, you have specific topics you are interested in. Honestly, I would get bored to watch English grammar videos for 30 minutes. Boring. <laughs> I would rather watch an expert give a talk on why people need poetry. That's more interesting, I, I think. Or I would rather watch Simon Sinek talk about leadership. How great leaders inspire action. That's one of the top TED Talks to watch, by the way. And I have seen it and I recommend it. If you're a business owner or a manager or a executive in an organization, in a company, I recommend watching that particular TED Talk from Simon Sinek. And I will share it here in the, in the transcript of this, of this show, of this episode. And guys, there are topics for every specialization. If you're a doctor, if you're a pharmacist, if you're a hotel manager, a financial advisor, there are experts for you to watch and listen to on TED Talks. Simply do a quick search on TED's website. Alrighty, so you get my point. You get my point. It is just very interesting to watch. Okay, just do it. Reason number two. Reason number two why you should watch uh, TED Talks. Well, the length. The length. Every talk is kept at 18 minutes or less. They are just not that very long uh, presentations. Uh, they're short, 18 minutes. It is not a long, boring lecture, okay? <laughs> it's short, entertaining and educational to watch. So just watch it. Reason number three why you should watch it. Because of simple academic language. The presentations are aimed at the general population, so the language and vocabulary used is simple. You can listen to gurus and experts on any topic and they will explain it to you in uh, very simple terms. Or should I say in layman terms. Layman terms is a good expression to know, that just means in simple terms. Right. Speaking of languages, you can listen to a TED talk in your native language. There are subtitles in over 20 languages. It's just a great resource. Trust me. Do I have to give you another reason why you should watch it? I think so. I have a last reason, number four. Why you should watch TED talks as an English learner? Because, because of subtitles. Subtitles. Okay. You are probably expecting me to suggest to watch these talks in your own language. But that is exactly what I would not recommend. Watch TED Talks with English subtitles, alrighty? Yes, I highly recommend you to watch anything with English subtitles if you are learning English. I am certain that if you are listening to the English Made Simple show, your level of English is already at a level where you would understand what you read. You already have some reading skills, I am sure. So if you're reading subtitles on TED Talks, I am certain you will understand 90% of the presentations. Uh, and for the remaining 10% that you don't understand, just get a dictionary, Weon Inteligente can help you, okay? <laughs> Finally, I recommend you watch TED Talk um, about a subject that really interests you. And this will help you improve your vocabulary, comprehension and pronunciation skills. And all simply by listening to a native English speaker on TED Talks. So that uh, kind of justifies why you should consider TED Talks as an English learner. 
the next one I wanted to mention the next platform I wanted to mention for you uh, something to help you uh, learn English is Netflix okay I mentioned Netflix because they are kind of big here in Australia there are other movie streaming platforms that you could uh, use potentially I think you can even watch the latest movies on YouTube now I think YouTube they have an option there anyway choose a platform that you like you know choose a platform like Netflix they, where you can watch something that, that you enjoy watching watch your favorite show or a movie on Netflix with subtitles subtitles in English please watch English subtitles and if you have a movie that you like that you can watch multiple times like Con Air with Nicolas Cage for example okay uh, watch it with subtitles and repeat the lines that they use in the movies uh, this is a great way to learn um, although the language you learn will be informal slang um, the informal is like slang it is still relevant. That's how native speakers speak. They speak using slang. It is also a great way to connect with native speakers or non-native speakers that you meet. When you use quotes from the movies, you know, you can connect with the with native speakers and you can make new friends. Um, I like to quote lines from the Zoolander movie. <laughs> you know, the one uh, with Ben Stiller. It's a really, really funny movie, Zoolander. It is full of good lines uh, to use with friends, okay? Right, and another platform you could use is the good old YouTube. You can use YouTube um, to help you learn English, right? Nothing new. And yes, you can watch TED Talk on YouTube as well. But I would recommend you watch uh, TED Talk uh, presentations uh, from their website directly because you can also download transcripts um, how awesome is that huh? you can download transcripts from their website on um, on any any presentation that you watch on TED talks you can read transcripts along with the speaker just like you can read transcripts to every episode of the English made simple show uh, this will help you improve your pronunciation skills and also you will be able to easily understand what's being said um, when you're watching the presentation. Cool. So I think these are really, really good reasons why you should consider these websites when you're learning English. But I gotta say something about YouTube though. Um, when I am on YouTube, I get distracted easily, okay? I watch something for five minutes and then I think about the weather, you know, the weather. It's a great topic. And, and I'm thinking like, oh, what's the weather like in LA tomorrow, you know? All of a sudden, I'm browsing different websites, watching funny cat videos, <laughs> the usual stuff, completely distracted. So that's, that's, you, that's how I see YouTube. That's how I use YouTube, actually. What can I say? I have an attention span of a five-year-old child. <laughs> well, that's about it, amigos y amigas. I hope uh, this episode was useful to you. If you found it useful, please share it with your friends, okay? Don't be selfish. This month, uh, February 2018, if you're listening to this uh, episode in real time, I want to let you know that I offer private coaching now in February. So if you're interested in improving your pronunciation and expanding your vocabulary, you can contact me directly by visiting englishmadesimple.net slash contact. That's how you can get in touch with me. Thank you for listening to another awesome episode of the English Made Simple Show. You've been an amazing audience. And you've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Have a great rest of the week. Until next time. Hasta la próxima. Bye.